Hey guys, I'm Jeremy with TGP Extras, and today I'll be showing you how to get raw recording capabilities onto your Canon T3i or 600D. So the first thing um, on your camera is turn your dial switch to manual. After you do that, go into the menu and to the third wrench and look down at the bottom where it says firm firmware version. Make sure that your firmware version is 1.0.2. If not, then you need to go to, um, there'll be a link in the description, so just go down there and update it to the newest version. After that, you're going to want to make sure you have all the footage or any important files that you have on your camera cleared off. So then after you've done that, come over here to the format on the first wrench, click on that, leave it at a low level format, and hit OK. After it's done formatting, this is optional, you don't have to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and clear my settings also. So I'll just clear all camera settings. Okay, after that's done, I'm going to turn my camera off, take out the SD card, and head over to the laptop. Alright, now I'm on my laptop with the SD card plugged in, and first thing you'll need to download is Magic Lantern. The, um, just to download the news version, so there'll be a link in the description to the website, and after you're there, just go to the downloads, click on that then you're going to want to go to the current stable release version 2.3 click on that and after that's download uh, loaded go down to the bottom of the page and download magic lantern 2.3 after you have that downloaded you're going to want to open finder or if you're on a pc um, just open that up and over here i have my sd card so I'll just click on that and I'll open up the Magic Lantern folder I downloaded. And so this is the SD card over here, and over here is the Magic Lantern folder. So I'm just going to copy all the contents in the Magic Lantern folder. Um, and then over in my SD card, I will paste those into them. Just let those copy over. And after it's done copying all the Magic Lantern files into your SD card, onto your SD card, you're just going to eject your SD card, and now we're going to go back to the camera. Okay, I'm back at my camera, and it's still on manual mode. So next, you want to go into your menu, come over to this third wrench, I'm already there, and come down to firmware version 1.0.2. Just go ahead and click on that, and then go over to OK, and hit OK. Now it's going to update with Magic Lantern and it's going to install that. So just wait for that and it should pop up in a second that it's a success. So after that, it wants us to reboot the camera. So I'm just going to turn off the camera. Most people tell you to take the battery out. So I'm going to take the battery out, leave it out for a few seconds, put it back in there. Then, I'm just going to restart our camera, turn it back on, and now we can hit the trash can button, and we have Magic Lantern. I can scroll here, here, and we see we have Magic Lantern. Now, Magic Lantern version 2.3 does not come with RAW on it. That is something else we have to download and put on here, so we're going to go back to the computer and install that. All right, now I'm back on my laptop with the SD card plugged in again, and you're going to want to go to the second link in the description, and it should be bitbucket.org, and you're going to want to download the latest file, which here is 600D, no, something, I don't know what it says. But anyway, download that. I already have it downloaded, so I have it here on my desktop. So I'm going to open two folders. So now I have two folders. And one folder I have my SD card open, and the other I have the folder I just downloaded. So first you want to get take this um, auto exe c dot bin and drag it into your SD card and replace it. So next you're going to take this um, modules file and go into your ML folder, which stands for Magic Lantern, and basically drag drag your module folder into the ML folder. After you're done with that, you're going to want to eject it, and we're going to go back to our camera to finish up. 
All right, now we're back at our camera. Should be for the last time, but we're going to want to go back to our magic lantern menu, which you get to by clicking the trash can button. And then come over to the M, the far right side on your magic lantern menu. And you see load modules now. And you know that in the on our computer, we put those modules in the magic lantern file on the SD card. So we're just going to click there and it loads the module files. So we'll come back over to movie and at the very bottom, you should see raw video, which wasn't there before, but now it's there. And so I'm going to turn back to video mode. There we go, video mode. And I'm open back up the Magic Lantern menu. And right there, you can see raw video. So you can hit the set button, turn that on, and hit Q to go into further details. So there you can adjust your resolution and down there, I don't know if you can see it, but basically for all the resolutions, you can record in different resolutions. It tells you at the bottom the right speed needed for your SD card at so many frames per second. So right now it says 26.1 megabytes per second um, at 30 frames per second. So it'll tell you whether or not your card will be fast enough to record that. Also in there, there's aspect, aspect ratio um, framing, a, a lot of this stuff. So you can play around with that and figure out how to get the best settings needed for your camera. But anyway, that's just how to put raw capabilities onto your can teeth your eye. It still just came out pretty much. So they're still being worked on, uh, work on it. Um, this is a warning that this could mess up your camera. I've seen it done other places. So I'm just warning you that if you don't do right or something's wrong, it could mess up your camera. So just be aware of that. But um, anyway, just experiment and have fun with the uh, new rock capabilities. Um, I'll see you guys next time.